second look at this runner form. Their last five matches, they lost three on the bounce. That 0 0 draw against Atleti, sandwiched between also that defeat at the Sanchez Pit final against Sevilla. Next up, Stevie, it is Barcelona in El Clasico. And according to reports in Spain, Lopetegui, for the moment, is safe. It's do or die, really, isn't it? And can you see any reason as to why they're not going to die next weekend? No, not really. Um, if, if this is a tight game, uh, then he may probably be kept on. But if it's an embarrassment and it's three or four, which it po very possibly yeah. could be, then I would think they would have no choice but to move him on. And quite frankly, it looks right now as though the players... Well, if he's given them any instruction, they certainly ain't following it. So who would replace him then? You take a look at, at the odds. Antonio Conte, as we mentioned last week, Correa the Sport, of course, running the story on a Thursday, saying that Conte has been contacted by Real Madrid. He sits in a favour. Arsene Wenger then, of course, still available at 7-2. Pochettino, 7s. Jose Mourinho at 9-1. to one. Uh, Guti at 10s. Santi Solari is currently in charge. Uh, the second team at Real Madrid at 10 to 1 and Max Allegri at 16. Conte or Wenger, Stevie? Who would you have? Um, I absolutely wouldn't have Wenger. Why not? Because this team right now, uh, as much as it's not scoring goals, it's throwing goals in at the other end. And, and when your team is doing that whilst they're struggling to put them in at the other end, it just it, it makes it twice as hard. So this team for me needs a bit of structure. If they get some structure, then I'm not guaranteeing you they'll score hundreds of goals, but I'll guarantee that defensively they won't give anything away. And for me, they need a, they need a structure right now. But is there not the argument to say it's concerned with Conte because he might come in and just upset the whole apple cart completely? Because we've seen the, the managers they've had in the past, obviously Zidane and all that success. Isn't that Conte style, is he? I would begin Conte not for the long term, I would bring in Conte for the short term. Uh, I think his style of management only, it only lasts so long, it has, it has a shelf life. And initially, players listen to him. So as much as they do have a lot of experienced players who've got more medals than, than, than they know what to put them, they will listen to Conte until Real Madrid come up with the person they want. All the, all the big names are all under contract to other teams. So you've got a Conte who can come in and make a mark straight away. That's what they need. And what's the big problem with Wenger? Why, why, why do you completely dismiss it? Because Fiorentino well, Paris uh, tried to get him in the past. There's no secret there. Well, it's not about structure for Wenger. It's about opening and, and expressing yourself and, and, and the finer things but in, in the, the game. But could the players not respond to that? In my opinion, the players look as though that's what they're doing right now. They look as though they don't really have a, a structure when they lose the ball. That's not what Wenger's about. That was the thing, particularly us on this show, criticised mm. Wenger about, was that when Arsenal weren't playing the lovely football, teams were just running through them. That's what's happening right now. So clearly Lopetegu isn't doing that. Yeah. You need somebody to go in there and just tighten things up in the engine room and then, then let your flair players go and win the game for you. Right now, the flair players ain't doing it, and every opposition, regardless of who they are right now, is streaming through the middle and scoring goals. Right now, though, Lopetegui remains the manager of Real Madrid, as we mentioned before. Next up for them is Barcelona.